All right, what it is, I'm back. I laid my vocals down. And now I can actually show y'all how to use auto-tune effectively and how to do some other things with it. You know what I'm saying? How to get it to sound professional because, you know, and I'm, I'm really, I'm making this video for my man, Psycho211. He sent me on, um... He sent me on YouTube or whatever, and he was basically asking me, you know what I'm saying, how to get, how to use auto-tune effectively, how to get it to sound like what you be hearing on the radio, and not sound like what he said, like you putting your voice in the fan. Now, first of all, it all depends on what kind of mic you got, you know what I'm saying, and what kind of quality you already getting off rip. So, like, if you, say, for instance, if your vocals sound shitty, and you put auto-tune on your vocals, you're going to have shitty auto-tune vocals. The auto-tune not going to change the quality of your vocals. So first of all, you already got to be getting quality vocals from the start. And if you're using a decent mic, if you're using a decent mic and you use Adobe Audition and you looked at my tutorials, my previous tutorials, then you should be able to get quality vocals and you should be able to make quality music. But first of all, it all start off with what kind of mic you got. So go get you a condenser mic. You know what I'm saying? And once you get a condenser mic, and if you're using uh, Adobe Audition, go look at my tutorials. And you know what I'm saying? You you can get quality vocals. But with that being said, if you already got a good mic and you feel like you already getting quality vocals, but when you put the auto tune on there, it's not sounding like what you hear on the radio. Then I'm about to try. I'm gonna try to help y'all out with that. Now, he said, my man said, how do you get it to sound like T Pain, and then how you get it to sound like Drake? Now, if y'all notice, when y'all listen to Drake auto tune, his auto tune not as extreme as T Pain. His is really subtle. You know what I'm saying? And when you listen to Kanye, like Kanye, I guess his more on the subtle. His more on the extreme side, but his not as extreme as T Pain. So. When you use an auto tune, it's kind of like a spectrum. It's kind of like Drake on the left end of the spectrum, and then it's T Pain on the right or the extreme end of the, spe of the spectrum. And I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to explain to y'all how to get y'all to fall anywhere in between those in that spectrum. But another thing I want to say is sometimes when you listen to Drake and it sounds like it's auto tune and it don't sound like it's auto tune. Most of the time, in that case, he probably using Melodyne. You know what I'm saying? If some of y'all don't know what Melodyne is, it's it's a pitch correction, but it's not like auto tune. It's a little different to auto tune, and you got a little bit more control over your vocals in auto in in Melodyne than you do in auto tune. And I got Melodyne on my computer. I got a demo version of it, but I'm gonna go into Melodyne and I'm gonna play around with Melodyne too, as long as I I got enough time in my video. But on to the tutorial though. So I got this song right here. It's um and in this song I'm using all kind of auto tune settings. I'm using a little bit on the subtle side and then I'm using the extreme or the T-Pain side, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to explain to y'all the settings that I use and then I'm going to try to play it. You know, I'm just saying just play around with the settings because the quality that I'm getting, y'all not necessarily going to get that quality. And, you know what I'm saying, the quality that y'all getting, I'm not going to necessarily get that quality either. You know what I'm saying? But if I could just try to get y'all to get into, like, a happy medium, then I'll I, I be happy with that. But first of all, what I'm doing right now is I'm freezing these tracks. And in, auto, in Adobe, you freeze the tracks when it's taking up a lot of your uh, CPU space. You can freeze them, and then you won't... Um, you won't use them, but I'll leave one of them open because I got to explain. I got to leave one of them open so I can open up the auto tune on them. So after, after these tracks get done freezing, then we can proceed. All right. Now we can, we can uh, listen to it. So let's listen to it right quick. You always want to listen to your music to see what you got. Get out of diamond style production. Money, 
niggas keep hating on me. Why niggas keep hating on me? It's probably cause I'm the nigga that they wanna be. Uh, I'm getting money. What the fuck you doing? You staying at home. You niggas lose it. Them 26s and slatting just like an escapade. Can tell you hate that I made it by the lick on your face. I'm making this money and it ain't making me. My fucking diamonds are singing just like a symphony. I'm doing my thing and I know you niggas sick of me. But I'm on third ground and you niggas don't have to get rid of me. Me and Chris Lee, we had to get together and shut this bitch down. Now we about to change the weather. All the way from Texas, back up to Michigan Way out in Kansas, I bet they listen in I rap, we sing, we rap, I sing We some bunch of young kings and we doing our thing And for them niggas that was hating on us Tell them niggas that we sitting on them I played the whole thing is because I wanted to, I wanted to see if y'all can tell which auto tune settings that I was using. I like on the hook, it's more of a subtle auto tune. You know what I'm saying? So let me so solo this, and then I can explain to y'all what I mean and how to get that subtle auto tune effect. So like y'all listening to it, the current setting it's on right now is ten. I make money, money don't make me. I make money, money don't make me. I make money, money don't so, like, make it's me. So like ten, so ten. If y'all heard it, it's 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 not quite as extreme as T Pain, but it's but you know what I'm saying it's it's not far off of that. So if you wanted to go down, then you want to go like into about like between fifteen and twenty, and that's gonna get you the subtle sound. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna get you to subtle, the more on the Drake side or like in the in the Kanye West spectrum. Part I of the spectrum. make money, money don't make me. Now if you don't, you know what I'm saying? If you don't money, want it at all, you want to turn it all the way down. I and it's make gonna be money, normal. money don't make me. I make money. You know what I'm saying? I make money. So, but if you put it like up here, like it's that's not gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's not really gonna affect it. So like I say, you want to put it between like 15 or 20. But you also, you got to play around with it, though. You know what I'm saying? You got to play around with it and just get it to the way you want it to sound. You know what I'm saying? If you play around with it, then it, you, will, you, will be, you will be happy. Because you got that's what you got to do with everything. You just got to play around with it. What worked for me might not necessarily work for y'all or, you know what I'm saying, for somebody else. And then as far as, like, the input type, the input type... It really, it really don't matter with the input type. You know what I'm saying? The input type, that really don't affect anything. So you really shouldn't have to worry about that. And then another way is if you wanted to get a little bit more subtle, then you want to turn it to, like, relaxed. But most of the time, I don't usually mess with this. You know what I'm saying? I don't usually mess with that. And then, like, as far as the key and the scale, y'all already know about all that. That's going to change with every song. You know what I'm saying? But as far as getting it, like, as far as you trying to switch between... In between that spectrum or not, the retune speed is what you're going to use. You know what I'm saying? So just play around with the retune speed, and then you'll be able to get it to where you want it. And um, as far as that goes, that's, I mean, that's really about it. Like, my verse, I got my verse on 100%. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted my verse to be on 100%. I got my, you know what I'm saying, it's on zero. Zero would be in 100%. But it's on zero, you know what I'm saying? And you leave it on zero if you want. Now, that's if you want the T-Pain effect. You know what I'm saying? Like T-Pain. And if you don't, you turn that down. And then another one, in the question he was asking me, what else could you do to get the quality good? And I told, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all in my other tutorials that you always want to put reverb, delay, all of that, you always want to put all of that on there, regardless if you use an auto tune or not. That's going to just make your vocal sound better off the rip. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing stuff like that, you're going to get good vocals. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get good quality. All you got to do is just play around with the settings. And you know what I'm saying? If you don't understand what I mean by how to affect the reverb and the delay and all of that, go look at my other tutorials. 
And I, I, I explained that very clearly in those tutorials, you know what I'm saying? How to make buses. All of these buses, these are all different effects. You know what I'm saying? I got a reverb, I got a delay. I got a second delay bus because in the hook, I got this delay basically coming out of the left speaker and then I got the other one delay coming out of the right speaker. You know what I'm saying? When you get technical with all of this, you will be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? But you just got to you gotta be hands-on in this program. And that's pretty much how you learn anything. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, with that being said, I hope I helped y'all out uh, with y'all auto-tune. You know what I'm saying? It's not rocket science, y'all. It's, it's real simple. Let's listen to it one more time. I hope that helped y'all, and I got more tutorials coming soon. I mean, like in this song, I might make a tutorial on how to write automation, because in this song, I do got to write some automation. I wrote a little bit of automation in this song, and my next tutorial, I'll show y'all how to write automation. Or if y'all want me to come back to this, you know what I'm saying, I'll come back and answer some more questions, because I know that most of y'all ain't going to be able to get it, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all want me to, I can come back to this. Or in my next tutorial, I'm going to uh, show y'all how to write automation within Adobe Audition. Just using your mouse and your keyboard. But other than that, I hope that I helped y'all out. To see how the Bloomberg. Please subscribe. Please continue to show support. And um, if y'all need anything, just hit me up on my inbox. Comments, likes. It's all very welcome. I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Salute y'all. Good looking out. To see how the Bloomberg.